Okay, so today I'm going to show you um, how to build this style um, arch greenhouse. This greenhouse is 24 feet across on the floor, 14 feet tall, and has a 16 foot radius arch. The first thing to do when you're building this is we had to build a 16 foot radius jig to lay these arches up on. Um, we did this by laying out a piece of plywood with a tape measure and turning a pivot point and scribing out the inside and outside line of the 16 foot uh, 2 by 6 arch that we built. Here's my arches laying up on a wall rack that I store them on. Um, here's the table, piece of plywood, and I'm turning my arch. You can see in the um, next clip here the, the layout lines. I start with the outside edge 16 foot. I have my 1 by 2s, my 2 by 8 blocks, my next set of 1 by 2s, and then the cut lines. I cut out five of those pieces of plywood and then lapped the joints so that I ended up with about a tw little over a 20 foot arch. Um, on the floor of my shop, I laid out the height and width of my greenhouse. 12 foot wide, half, that's half the height, I mean the width to the middle, 14 feet tall. I then laid my finished jig on those lines and that let me draw the correct angles that I'm going to cut the excess wood off the ends um, to finish those, those arches. Next I glued down some 2x2 two two blocks um, on the arches, that's where I'm going to be holding my C-clamps and clamping down the 2 inch by 8 inch blocks of wood. Um, I ripped a bunch of 2x4s down into 1x2s and then also the 2x8 blocks and then pretty much just glue them up and start in the center, overlap the 1x2s so that you know they're 10 foot long and then so you've got a 5 foot stagger. I clamp in the center first and after that block goes in I start slowly clamping them around the jig from the center to the ends. At the ends I cut some 30 inch pieces of um, 2x4 on my bandsaw to that same radius to stiffen up the ends uh, where it's going to attach to the bottom plate and also to the top ridge. There I'm gluing up that one of those 30 inch pieces. The um, after all the clamps are in place and you just kind of take your time with this but clamp it down any bad spots in the wood you kind of fix as you go along after they're all clamped in place we used inch and a half staple gun and stapled all of the one by twos together and then wherever the two by eight blocks are we used uh, ring shanked 16 penny nails and nailed those in really well we put in screws anywhere where there was an external joint which is in these only is in the center. So we threw a couple of screws in just to hold those from wanting to you know come apart. All right, after all the fasteners were done, I transferred the lines on the top and bottom cuts from my jig onto the finished arch. Then all the clamps were removed and we were able to um, just slide the, the finished arch down and cut it with a skill saw so all of our cuts were completed and um, because the, we were pretty liberal with the glue, after the cuts are made, everything is done, we wipe down the arches just so they don't stick together when you put them in a stack. Uh, just wipe off the excess, it'll save you some trouble later. So here we are, we're carrying them over and we're stacking them up. For this expansion, I ended up, I put an arch every four feet, so I needed to build uh, 14 of these. Next, I had built already some um, pressure treated. 60 inch arches that I used as ground anchors. I sank them in the in the dirt 30 inches and then they will accept the um, arches. I put just because I was extending this greenhouse <clears throat> I put a cup on the end where the ridge goes I made a little stand-up stick to hold the other end of my ridge board and I was I, they're light enough I assembled this by myself. Um, you put up the ridge you stand the first arch once it's in place in the, um, the ground anchor, I went up and I just put on a piece of hardware, a little angle bracket, screwed it together. Then I put on, once you've got the tube up, I put the strap going across the top.
to hold the two ridges together and then I put some duct tape over that hardware so it doesn't chafe on the plastic uh, roof. After all the arches and ridge boards were assembled, uh, the hardware put in place and everything screwed together, I then started putting in the purlins. They go about every four foot and they're comprised of a one by two that fits in the center of the arch and a two by two, 46 and a half inches long, that goes between them. And they are all screwed together and they make the structure very stable. The last part of this project was taking the old um, six mil poly skin off of my existing greenhouse and then rolling out a new piece that's 75 feet long by 40 feet um, in the yard and because of the way it's rolled when you get it you have to totally unroll it and then you kind of roll both edges in towards the center. Once it's rolled up that way you can tie it together to cinch it up and then roll it long ways you know up into a into a bundle that then you can um, hoist up onto the roof and as it goes up onto the roof you untie the uh, the bindings and then it wants to kind of deploy and roll itself out over the greenhouse. You got to do this on a calm day. You do it first thing in the morning because it can turn into a nightmare if the wind picks up on you. It takes about an hour. It wasn't a long process and once it's all unrolled then you just staple it down. Um, that pretty much finishes the project. Now if you feel like this may be beyond your your skill level um, I build these in about four different sizes. It cost me about $25 in materials for each arch. If you need them built, I can build them for about $75 for each arch and then ship them to you. So it's, um, I'm going to include my contact information. If you, this looks like something you'd like, um, we have full architectural drawings. The engineering has been done to the 160 mile an hour wind code for Florida. Most of the country requires about a 90 to 100 wind code, so they're, they're well within the, the limits. So give me a call if I can help you with anything. Otherwise, give it a, give it a whirl. It's not that hard. Thank you.